Hey guys, Mark with Think Insurance, and today we're gonna to talk about senior drivers. What are the best companies that they should go with and what are some of the discounts, the four to five discounts that they should be focused on to get the best rates? It's no secret that just like a 16 year old is a high risk driver, once you hit 65 and older, you also fall into the high risk driving as well has nothing to do with the individual person, but across the board, just like the young drivers, they average, they're new to driving, they have a lot of claims. Senior drivers tend to have a lot of claims, and that's just a part of what happens. It may be the older age that's causing it, but when they group them into one group, it's going to have an increase incrementally from 65 to 75 to 85 and up. Those are really the three categories that we consider senior driving. So let's start off and talk about the discounts that you guys can go towards to get the best deals. The first one is to take a defensive driving course. You can do this at any age, but when you're a senior and you take an online course or you actually go and drive a vehicle, it gives you a better discount. It's not massive, but it can give you three to 10% off depending on the company and the state that you're in. Not all states offer it, so you can check, just go to the government's website. You usually don't have to go to a physical school. It's just watching a car drive around the screen for about an hour or so, and then you take a test. If you pass it, you are good. The second and most impactful way is if you're on a budget and you're starting to realize that you necessarily can't afford the cost of the insurance, you may wanna consider having a cheaper car. It's a lot of work, I get it, you gotta sell the car, buy a new car, but at the end of this process, the goal is to get something that you can do PLPD on, that's personal liability and property damage. It's basically state minimums. I'm not saying carry lower coverages, I would still keep those high limits in case you do hurt someone or damage their car, but forcing yourself to have a less expensive car where you're not gonna have a full coverage claim is gonna be beneficial. Yes, you are risking the fact that you could damage your car and it's never covered at all, but even if you do it that route and it's not your fault, then your insurance isn't necessarily gonna go up in those states that charge you regardless of fault. You could also just take your current one and raise the deductible, although that doesn't always impact it as much as you would think. Some states, it might save you $20. Other states, it'll cut the bill down 20%. So it's a good idea to talk to your agent with that option and see if that is the first route that fits your budget. Otherwise, you may wanna think of looking at some other options. Now, everyone's gonna tell you having an anti-theft device, adding that to your car is gonna be impactful. Honestly, I don't think that's worth it in my opinion. You can check with your agent to see what kind of discount it'll give you. It's always been dollars on our end. I usually don't see as much of a deal there, but it's something that could save you a little bit of money. Probably not worth the three to $400 that you're gonna pay to have it installed. It's kind of nice to have, but overall, I don't think it's gonna make as big of an impact on your insurance policy as most people think. The next most impactful is to join what's called a UBI, that's called the Usage Based Insurance Company. A good example is Nationwide and Metro Mile. So what they do is they offer these programs, I'll link the one for Nationwide here where I did a review on them, that talks about you pay a flat base fee and then you go a little bit more over miles. So the fee you always pay, and if you drive more that year, then you pay a little bit extra. So it's mileage based insurance that's gonna give you a better option. The fourth way that's gonna give you some pretty good discounts is to start shopping online. If you're not a fit for the current company you're with, you may wanna look at some other options. Most of the companies in a moment that we're gonna talk about and give you some examples of companies that are competitive are part of the link below. I'm gonna link below a company that you can shop with up to 30 companies. It's pretty cool that you can do it on your phone. It's a little bit techy, but essentially it shops them all, comes back with the best option for you, gives you the best rate. If they change in the future and ends up not being the best rate when your age changes or when something happens, then you can reshop it again. So you've always got this one place that you can go to that you don't have to constantly be jumping around to different places. The fifth way is the ARP membership. So AARP, if you're going through a usage-based insurance where you have low mileage on your car, where you're driving low and you want another discount, Nationwide also partners and has an AARP discount. So if you're going through companies, check with each one that you're talking to and see if you're an ARP member if you get a discount for that. Keep in mind, you don't have to be a member today. So if you purchase an AARP membership, I believe it's 12 to $13 a year to have that membership. It's gonna far save you more money on your auto policy 
than the $13. So if you don't like ARP, it might be worth it just to get it to get the discount on your insurance. So what's the average cost for a senior driver? Well, according to Value Penguin, the 65 average is $1,738 annually. If you're 75, you're $2,042. And if you're 85 and above, you're close to that $2,500 range. Now those numbers are based off of kind of a low policy. That's them doing the 50,000 per person, 100,000 per accident coverage. I personally believe that you need to have the 100, 300 or above because usually it doesn't cost a huge much different and it's covering enough or more for a person if you injured them or damaged their vehicle. It does include comprehensive and collision at a $500 deductible. So if you are looking at going with some of those better rates, then you're gonna be a little bit higher than the average. Keep in mind that's if you have a clean driving record. When you are a senior, 65 and older, and you have a speeding ticket, you're gonna count an additional 20 to 25% on top of that. If you've had an accident before, you can pretty much double the cost of that. It's about 50 to 55% more for seniors when they've had an accident. If you had an accident and a ticket separately, then it's gonna be fairly expensive. You're gonna be in that 300 plus per month range where it's just gonna cost quite a bit. You're definitely gonna to wanna to shop and find the companies that are competitive in those scenarios because it's taking you out of the context of what we're talking about today. And that's also why I suggest that link down below where you can shop with those companies to see which one you are a fit for. So company-wise, according to Google, the top five companies that they listed in order was Geico is the number one, although I don't trust that 100% because State Farm was number two, and that's the one I would lean towards. State Farm tends to be overall, on average, one of the top companies for 65 and older. They have Allstate number three and Progressive number four. USAA, if you're part of the military, is number five. You have to be in order to get in there. And number six is Nationwide, who is the one I would lean towards. So who should you call? What company should you work with? If you don't wanna do the link below, that's perfectly fine. So the ones I personally would lean towards are going to be nationwide because they give you that usage-based insurance where you can get those lower rates. That's something fairly new that they've added. And I would also look at the State Farm option as well. If you wanna go beyond that, then sure, Progressive would be my third choice. And then any of those that I've listed beyond that would be some options. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you guys gone with any specific company? If those of you that have family members that are seniors or if you're a senior as well and you're watching this if you're 65 or older, I'd love to know what company that you're with. Who did you find that gave you the best deal and the best rates? And what made you decide to go that route? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll recommend that you guys watch my standard discount video where I go over all of the 15 different options that you can save additional money on your policy. You may be missing something, so it's definitely worth checking out. I'm Mark with Think Insurance. I'll see you in the next one.